Hey, what's up, guys? <sighs> I got light now. Whee! I'm not naked today. I have I have swim trunks on, so no uh, <laughs> no accidental no accidental dick shows tonight. The chat leaves immediately. Uh, here, let's see. Get in here. Got some bisexual lighting, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Based, uh, I don't think I did. I don't think I did, but I definitely got to uh, a risk factor, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Now I can actually see the chat. Cooking a lot tomorrow. Yeah, way too much. Way too much. So I have my I have my tub light set on a rotating thing, and then I have my ring light set on a different rotation. How much have I drank today? Zero. Zero drinks today, but I do have one beer to have right now. Uh, I have this, oh shit, Backwoods Bastard, barrel aged uh, in oak bourbon barrels. Why do I sound hammered? I don't know, it's the middle of the night. That's a beer. It's not terrible. It's not great. <laughs> it's, uh, I usually use it for, um, God damn, like chili and gumbo and shit like that. You know, let's see. Can I fucking turn there? <sighs> oh, I can pan the camera down because my penis isn't out. What a happy day that is. <laughs> oh, God. The internet's a weird fucking place. Show that gunt? I should. I should show it off. Be proud of it. I make it weird. What did I do? I'm just here enjoying this weather. It's like 35 degrees right now. Oh, it might be it might be just below freezing, actually. But uh it was like 40 today. It was really fucking nice. No, you're upside down. There's actually a button on your um on the bottom corner of your uh window that should flip it somewhere. Or you could change browsers. That would work. That's it expected to be frozen tundra? It was. It was frozen and fucking terrible. Um, but then today it warmed up. Just in time for Thanksgiving, which is actually nice. I need to do an as Ocean Man video. What the fuck is an as Ocean Man video? Team Blue or Team Red in Pokemon? I think I played Blue first, so that one. Did I play Red? I think I only played the one, actually. Yeah, I have, this, I have these beers. that I've had them for like eight months. They've just been sitting in my fridge. Let's see, let's see what it says. Expect lovely... Warm swells of single malt. Wait, smells? Smells, not swells. Smells of single malt, scotch, oaky bourbon barrels, smoke, sweet caramel, and roasted malts. A hit of earthy spice and a scintilla of dark fruit. I guess that's the black man semen. 
It's uh, it's a kickback sipper made to excite the palate. It's not great. But it, you know what? It might actually be good for a beer, though. Like, I can't... Is it 5%? No, it's it's 11%. It's an 11% beer. Um, I can't be the judge of if it's a good beer or not because I don't like beer in general. Does it tingle the back of your throat? No. No. Maybe if I do the maybe if I do the mouth bottle challenge. One guy, one beer. How's the coffee? Shit. Like all coffee. Why am I wearing shorts? Look, my job comes with certain risks. Eight months would make it a bit skunk. It tastes the same as it did when I got it. I, it probably wasn't eight months ago. It was probably three months ago, but. You're waking up for a 5K? Fuck, I'm so jealous. You're supposed to be the jealous one. Guy like running. Do I think people on the Titanic had good hygiene? No. No. You trying to use the... Turnaround option, but it won't work right. Do appreciate the help, though. Recorded a clip of me turning it around. We'll send you a YouTube link and see yourself from my broken browser's perspective. Try Just turn your computer upside down. Just do that. Can you run in the winter? No, not not really. It's, it's not external body temperature. It's internal. So, um... Ambient temperature matters. It matters, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter that much because it's just once you get moving, the allergy kicks in. Why don't you just piss yourself with menthol? Do I like Nashville style fried chicken like the is that the hot chicken? Tennessee hot chicken or something. Uh, I've never had it. Yeah, Hugh, I didn't want to drink a whiskey, flatten my hair. Okay. Here. There we go. Look at how long this fucking hair is. I'm like a DBZ character. Jesus Christ. Here, I'll be in a 90s boy band. There we go. <laughs> and I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. <laughs> Oh, God. It's terrible. For better or worse, till death do us part, I love you with every beat of my heart. <laughs> oh. Now is Randy Newman. That's where by the moon and the stars and the sky I'll be there <laughs> mm. my hair's worse oh yeah good that's how it's gonna be that's how it's gonna be so it became gay hot tub karaoke stream i should set that up
Get a couple microphones with like some boom arms sticking out over here. Oh, so what are you guys up to tonight? Anybody have uh, good shit going tomorrow for the old Thanksgiving? So we go to the store today. We go to the store today. And uh, you just watch the Andor season finale. Is that a Star Wars thing? Should you go rock hunting before you? I mean, it's not much of a challenge. They don't. They don't move. So wait, was Andor okay? It's a Star Wars thing. I just have one question for you, egalitarian. Why are you gay? You'll be alone tomorrow. That sucks. Hair is perfect. Do not move. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, that, that would be the move. AG Biochemist. The Chad Hunter would kill the pardoned turkey. The fucking White House, like, 43-pound turkey that they pardon every year. Some motherfucker comes up and just, like, he's camouflaged, painted like the backdrop, and he's been waiting there for days, right? Just sitting there waiting eyes closed until he hears Biden say, and I'm going to go ahead and pardon Captain Wrinkle Neck, the turkey. And then all of a sudden you see those two whites open like Rambo on the mud wall. And he fucking runs up just ah! and just stabs that turkey right in its fucking neck. Grabs it from Joe and just runs off. Gotta be amazing. So, um, okay. So, uh, today I go shopping. I meant to go shopping on Monday to buy a fresh turkey. What, what the fuck are you posting? I hate you. I hate you for that. Um, I should have gone shopping on Monday to buy a fresh turkey. I don't like frozen turkeys. I like fresh turkeys. And I've done this before where I've waited till Wednesday before Thanksgiving to go out and buy a turkey and there were none left in town. So I'm like, oh, fuck me. Are we even going to get a turkey? But I go to the store. We went to the chiropractor and we have all the kids. And I go to the store and uh, Lady Ragged stays in the car with the kids. And so I go inside to find the uh, to find the turkey and I find the turkey pretty quickly um, they had plenty of fresh turkeys I got a 17 pound bird which is way bigger than we need but I like cooking that better than a 14 pound bird so um I get the turkey and I I grabbed also a, a turkey breast, some turkey, some smoked turkey legs, and some smoked turkey wings to do for um, or to use for a stock. Uh, well, for dinner tonight, and then a stock. So I did that, and then I made the mistake. I called Lady Rackets, and I'm like, "What do we want for sides? Obviously, mashed potatoes and gravy, because mashed potatoes and gravy." And she asks the kids what they want for sides. And they all start suggesting shit. And I'm like, how much stuff do I have to cook now? Like, how much stuff? It's like, oh, corn, cornbread, uh, like this cornbread cornmeal mash. Uh, we got um, green beans. We got corn on the cob also. So we got corn, corn on the cob, and cornmeal mash. Or no, wait. Now it's just corn on the cob and the cornmeal mash. Uh, stuffing, which I don't even like stuffing. I don't know why we're making stuffing. 
Uh, this red salad, which is a fruit salad covered in Swedish gelatin or Danish gelatin, which is basically just sugar. Right? A pumpkin pie, an apple pie. Uh, what else is there? God, there's like another dish that I have to, that we have to make. And I'm like, there's seven of us, but there's not seven whole humans. No, no pecan pie. We're in Minnesota. They don't even know pecans exist. So. I mean, that's an exaggeration. They have shitty pecans. But uh, they don't really have pecan pie. I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You have pecan tree in your backyard. Well, it must be cool to live in a state that doesn't fucking suck. Yeah, pistachio salad. I'm very familiar with pistachio salad. I'm also familiar with snicker salad. Did you guys ever see the show How I Met Your Mother? That was the most accurate thing in the world when they went to um, Marshall's Minnesota family, like, get together. I don't know if it was like a Thanksgiving or a reunion and they made the salad and the salad was just seven layers. It's like gummy bears, snicker bars, whipped cream. It was like, Oh fucking hell. At least you don't have prudes make me blue stuck on your back when your mother-in-law is coming over tomorrow. No. Yeah, I know Marsha was from St. Cloud, except when they showed St. Cloud, that's not what it looks like at all. They they acted like St. Cloud was this tiny town. I mean, St. Cloud's not huge, but it is 100,000 people. Let's see. Your wife is currently arguing with someone on Twitter who is asking, what about Kyle Rittenhouse involves self-defense? Is there advice I should give her other than to block them? I don't understand, Twatter. You're a, a pro. You should say, Kyle was a minor being chased by a pedophile. Everything he did was self-defense. Kyle's only sin was not shooting more. So anyway... That is an accurate, uh, that is an accurate St. Cloud. Uh, or the best bet is to actually get off of Twitter. For normal people, they shouldn't be on there. Just don't, just don't do it. You got suspended on Twitter the other day. For how long? Like permanent or like 12 hours? Time my up tomorrow to start cooking. We don't have like a, we don't have a get together plan. So I get to start it kind of late. That's nice. I probably won't start cooking till 11 or so. Marshall's family sum up the quintessential Minnesotan family. It's pretty close. Axe hammer guy here again. Sent an email on the 4th. If you don't mind taking a peek at it sometime. Will do. Will do. Oh, is that about the charity thing or whatever? Not the charity thing. Like a an auction or something. I think I read that and I just haven't responded. I'm sorry. Barney was my favorite character. That was an interesting dynamic. So Barney was a gay man, Neil Patrick Harris, playing a Chad uh, 
and then his brother comes on who's played by what's his face the black guy who is who is a not gay man playing the gayest man of all time there were parts of that show that were pretty funny I need to watch It's Always Sunny. Why? For Charlie? Everybody wants me to watch it for Charlie. And it's like, eh. Good night, Jay Cabrello. Wayne Brady, that's his name. What's up, Hazad? Tub looks amazingly comfy. It's pretty comfy. It's a little warm tonight, though, because it's kind of warm outside for me. Yeah, I'm wearing pants tonight. So, um, funny story about the uh, the live stream video on my end. Because of where the text box is, you can't see very well how far the camera goes down. That was interesting to learn on the watchback. It was very, very interesting to learn on the watchback. Just how low the camera actually goes. Apex Ontis, I don't believe you because uh, former Mr. K says you told me. I didn't see anybody say anything during the uh, during the actual stream. Did I do the salt water thing? No, it's sitting on my floor in inside right over there. Hey, what's up, Carrie? How are you? I didn't have time for all the memes we had to make. I'm I'm very surprised that uh if if anything actually showed up that no one actually had the whole fucking video. <laughs> like I deleted it in time. Whew. Good night, oh moy. Too busy fapping. Yeah, Julia, that's why I took it down. I I didn't review the full stream. I didn't have time. I skimmed it a couple times and I was like, holy fuck, that camera is really low. And if I move in the wrong way at all during this video, uh, dicks out for Harambe. So I deleted it right away. Tattoo revealed out? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been revealed before. But the best part about, part about every live stream is that you guys can have your penis out and it's okay. Yeah, I have a tattoo. How do you miss all this? I thought you knew me. Fuck. Oh, I thought I saw movement in the kitchen. It's terrifying. Your baldo ship today? Is what you saw during the hot tub stream. <laughs> My tattoo shows I'm a member of the Chinese Communist Party. Niggas a triad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. So many baldos have been ordered that my email inbox is just... I get... It's been like 15 a day. I can't cook. It's not about needing a ball, though. It's about them being fun. Get that ball money. Yeah, during the uh, during fucking half price Black Friday, I get I get a whopping like two dollars and seventy cents per per baldo sale. 
I think I made a hundred bucks on Baldo sales so far. Eternal Hex, I remember having fun. I remember having fun. Do people unironically like the Baldo? Oh, Lady Raggets and I unironically like the Baldo. Yes. No, it's uh it's it's like a meme, but it also isn't. People don't understand how the Baldo functions. It because it doesn't conceptually make sense until you use it. Went looking and everyone who talks about the Baldo for real is posting pics and vids. That's some super intimate shit. Yeah, it's it's really not for like a casual hookup. Like legitimately, it is for a partner, someone you trust. Uh, you have to. Yeah. You won't buy it until it doubles as a penis. Ex you know, they have those. They have the penis extenders. You put your dick in a cock sleeve and it's got like a prosthetic dick that goes out from it. Should you get one for Florida boy? You might want to wait a little bit, but yes. Do they come in black? Right now they have, uh, they have gray and they have pink, but the gray is out of stock. And I think they're trying to sell out of the pink. I'm guessing they'll do two new colors or at least one new color. As <laughs> you sit there with makeup smeared down your face from crying, should I buy him a Baldo? <laughs> That's the best time. <laughs> That's when you snap a picture and be like, God, I wish this were me, but with you. You're jealous of the hot tub? Why? <laughs> if you say the fucking joke, I think you're going to say... <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can we buy into the company with you? I don't know if I'm going to buy into the company. I'm reviewing it. Yeah, I'm outside. I'm outside for Mars. Ain't it cold? No, it's like, it's like, it's not even, what the fuck temp is it? Just a second. It's, uh, come on. 32 degrees right now. It is 32 degrees. It's not cold at all today. You're legitimately jealous you love hot tubs. Also because you're in it. Is that the simpery you want? Yes. <laughs> there you go. I thought that was the joke you were going for. But you're not jealous of the hot tub. You're jealous of me because I'm in the hot tub. And it's cozy. From Mars, just hook him up. Get him to DM me. I'll, I'll explain the Baldo to him in, in brutal man-to-man -man fashion. I'll sell him on it. There's a video, but don't show him the video.
<laughs> I'll do direct one-to-one -one Baldo consultation sales. <laughs> I'm going to need more than 10% on this one, motherfuckers. <laughs> Have I seen any of Flash Gits, Furry Crusades? Yes, they're so fucking good. Get Playboy to back me. Playboy's like too woke. I don't think they do it. There's a new one? A new Flash Gits? Oh, yeah! God, I love those. They're so fucking good. You could continue the line of hot tub jokes, but I forgot this is a good Christian stream. <laughs> That's okay. Just have Art send them to me. Uh, you should get the Flash Gets guys on. They had a funny podcast called Cream Crew. Should you take a running punch at egalitarian bitch to open her up for the baldo first? I mean, I don't know. For some people... The baldo might be girthy. I guess it depends on the girth of your partner. So. Nah. But I haven't looked at all of your dicks individually. I will, of course, at some point come inspect them, but. Redevoted. That's a nice. Uh, that's a nice fucking tub there that you got. Ladies say mine's only three inches, but smells like a foot. <laughs> Jesus. No, there's a 5K gift. I'm waiting on one more component. Uh, I'm waiting on some art that needs to be incorporated into it. Once I get the art, uh, then I can send that to the manufacturer. They can make a prototype, and we'll see. Weird question, but have you and Lady R ever had your kids walk in on you doing the you-know-what? No, we lock the door. But sometimes these little fuckers come to the door over and over. They're like, Mommy, what? <laughs> what? Like, just wanted to tell you that my brother is running in the house. Stop. Stop it. We're busy. We're talking about the future. And the future is now. We actually, we almost did for the first time Uh, just the other, just the other day, I was angled. So our room has kind of like a weird layout. It's not really weird, but the door is on one side of the room and the bed is against this. So the door's here. The bed is against the wall like this way. So the, the headboard is against a perpendicular wall to the door. But that means that if the door's open at all, a lot of light would come in. So there's actually a screening wall between the door and the bed. So you like, you walk in the door, but you're facing a little screening wall and it's a couple feet over. So you go around. We were thankfully in a fucking spot where I could see the door because I had actually forgotten to lock it. And so I happened to look up. I don't know why. I don't know if I heard something I don't know if like my subconscious went off. I don't know if God was tapping me on the shoulder or whatever, but uh, a kid came 
Like I could see them, their shape coming in the crack of the door. It was only open like this much, but you know, you could see the shadow coming and I'm like, whoa, do not open that door. You turn around and go the other way. No, we weren't doing anything crazy. We weren't doing anything crazy. This is just normal, normal uh, stuff. But it was still, it was like, they've never seen any of that. I mean, our older kids probably know what's happening. Maybe. I don't know. They're kind of innocent. But this is a younger kid, so they would have no idea, which is fine and good. It's not really age appropriate for them to know all of the intimate details about relations. But, um, yeah, that was a good wake-up call because, well, look, things kind of happened quickly, and it wasn't uh, expected, so the door wasn't locked that time. But it was pretty funny. You have your box of crackers ready for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Lady R was on the crossing. No, 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 no. There was nothing crazy going on. It was just normal. I've never walked in on my parents. Thank God. How do you enable dark mode on your iPad? I don't know. You've heard your parents? Oh, God. That would haunt me forever. You just get accidental sex from your dad. Your dad sounds so fucking funny. Have your parents ever walked in on you? No. Thank God. That would be awful. One of your brothers did, and it was 69. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What did he do? Did he just, like, ask for a cup of sugar and fucking leave? Like, what's the, what's the awkward play? That's what I don't know. You did twice. Your mom's room was next year's when she started uh, dating. She was riding and came to console me in a silk robe. Oh, my God. Your BFF got caught cleaning daddy. Ew. Wait, your dad or their dad? I'm so fucking confused about that comment. Man, by the time I was old enough to understand anything, I never wanted to be around my parents anyway. Not that I didn't like them. I just had other stuff to do. Oh, that's what she said to her kid. Okay. I took that in the way wrong way. His girlfriend was walking in first. So when she opened the door, she had her jaw dropped. His eyes were like, what the fuck? And she slammed the door shut. Tell myself he didn't see much to make myself feel better. <laughs> There's no way around it. There is no way around it. <laughs> Miss Chance of the Devil's Foursome. No. No. <laughs> what do you think? Damn it. No. <laughs> Do 
Guess which way you were facing? They got the full crotch shot. Oh no, that's the worst. Wait, is that the worst? Is that the worst though? The full crotch shot or like just a dick right in your mouth. God, either one. Your poor brother. Is it the brother that's in here? Wait, is it that brother? No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Robin Dop. No, 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 no. Don't ask. Unask that question immediately. You don't want to know the answers. <laughs> I love the fucking frog face. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. From ours, have you tried like hypnotizing him to make him suppress that memory forever? <laughs> or have you like thought about killing him? So, <laughs> so he takes that straight to his grave and you make sure it happens soon. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I gotta get a little bit out of the water. It's a little too warm today. Oh, you'll know his username when you see him immediately. <laughs> Making lawyer soup tonight, every night, every night. Actually, I've been in the hot tub like every day recently. That's great. My tattoo does not say soy boy. My tattoo says regret. Jessica Pear from Hot Tub Time Machines. Super hot, but you're still an Alexandra Daddario. Simp. Oh, shit. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, I should do the full Ed Norton. Your dad has a key to your apartment. When he calls, text me saying he's coming over. I know he's about an hour away, so I decided to clean up and take a shower. When I stepped out to dry off, I go into my living room naked, and he's sitting there on my couch. I screamed, and he laughed. He texted me on the way over. Uh, the only incident I ever had like that. What a disaster. The, uh, no, the closest I ever got, I told this story on stream. The closest I ever got, um, Lady Rackets and I were playing a game. Uh, and it wasn't like a particularly dirty game because anything would happen later. It was, it was just never have I ever, but like sex edition. So, and there was a spinner and like these cards and stuff were sitting out. My dad brought me his iPad to make me watch a segment of John Oliver, which was nine and a half minutes long. It was like, here's that segment of John Oliver I was telling you about. And he hands me the iPad and I looked down and I'm like nine and a half minutes. And I looked up at him and I was like, all right, dad. So I press play. And he was just standing right there with nothing to do. And I know he's sitting down, like looking at this uh, game. I know he's looking at the cards and the, the categories and the spinner and everything. And I know he was like, what the fuck did I walk into? Why am I in this room right now? I should not be here. I know I shouldn't be here. And I watched that entire John Oliver segment. And look, I'm not a big John Oliver fan. But that was actually a good segment. It was about these dolls that wash up occasionally in the uh, in some particular place in Texas on the Gulf of Mexico. And I think they come from that creepy fucking doll island off of Mexico. And um, it's these, uh, they're not drug dolls. They're just like these. So there's the, an island of the dolls 
where uh, people go and they leave dolls because it's supposed to be haunted or whatever. And, uh, and yeah, so these like dolls will occasionally wash up on the shore of Texas and they're just, they look horrifying and they're really funny. And so, um, John Oliver did a segment on it and it was, uh, it was actually a really funny segment. It was very funny. Uh, John Oliver, when he's not being political, he has some decent writers. They can, they can, uh, they can do stuff. Ever played cards against humanity with the prudes in your life? I don't know too many prudes. Like my parents are probably the most prudish, but I don't think they actually are prudish. They just don't, they don't talk to me about that most of the time. When they do, it's, it's always awkward because they never really have. But, um, man, my, my brand of comedy and just general conversation does not lend itself to very prudish people. One retarded perk I have is when I see dolls, I tend to get very sad. <laughs> Sounds like one of those weaknesses in D&D. But no, look, I, I don't. Believe it or not, I'm not trying to offend anybody most days. I just incidentally do. Because I'm just... Most days. Some days I'm trying to, but most days I'm just, just being me. And uh, it, that ends up pissing people off. But I don't know. But I played Cards Against Humanity a couple times, and... It's always fun. Except I hate the company now, so it's not as fun anymore. Your 15-year-old son was on the toilet. On mistake, he chromecasted porn directly to the living room where his grandparents, me, and his mom were watching TV. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that sucks! What was it? How 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 just degenerate and degraded was it? Or was it just normal? Did you say it wasn't uh It was soft porn. Okay, that's not so bad. God, it could have been way worse, right? <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> it's like Macy gets DP'd and pissed on. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Guzzles piss, then come. Like, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> the the outcome could have been so much worse holy shit that's when you pour that 15 year old of scotch and don't tell anybody like hey buddy i'd say this happens to the best of us but the equivalent for us would have been leaving the vhs in the VCR with the Top Gun empty VHS sleeve out in front. So it looked like that's what was in there. And then your, your mom and dad sitting down to watch Tom Cruise blow up some commies. And turns out uh, it was a commie getting blown out by a guy named Crom Twos. We've all been there. I have not. I have somehow avoided this my entire, entire life. Luckily, it wasn't Safridi. Look, I'm old enough to have watched... One of the first porns I watched was this... My friend acquired the VHS, and we... Like, we each took, like... You know, we shared it. We each had, like, a week with it. And it was a Rocco Safridi porn, but it, it had nothing... Like, it was straight vanilla. Like, there was no... It was before he was just Captain Butt stuff. And, um, but stuff, literally, uh, 
And the only thing I remember, I remember the main chick wore this full body sleeve, like a seat, like a mesh body sleeve. And that was pretty hot. And then um, Rocco had this line and I don't know the context. I don't remember this. I don't know the story, but the, the context was Rocco saying, don't hurt her like that. That was the, that was the line. I'll never fucking forget how that sounds. I don't know why. It's like Lady Raggets be scared shitless if you yelled and she came to check on you and you just floated face down the hot tub or would she attack you? Um, I think she'd be terrified. I think she'd be terrified. Ranger says, that's how I saw my first porn. Brother left it in the VCR when he stole my mom's car and drove to Colorado. Sorority sex kittens too. Well, that sounds like a good one. K Swiss says, oh Christ, then you got this guy. I need my K Swiss. Caligula movie was very risque at the time. Absolutely. Yeah, Lady Raggeds is out. There, she wouldn't hear me at all. If I screamed right now, there's no way she's getting up. Not even a good joke. No, it isn't. That actually happened to my dad. My mom walked outside and my dad was like, like not floating, but he was like passed out kind of in the hot tub. Messed her up. She was fucking terrified. He was okay. He was just like deeply asleep. You know, probably just had a blood pressure drop or something from the water. But yeah. Most embarrassing was your daughter was little. Found one of your toys. Uh-oh. She smacked it onto the kitchen table in front of my mom. It suction cupped on. And here I am trying to frantically pull it off. Looked like I was jerking it off. Get off there! <laughs> no, Manny, morbid humor is fine. Don't worry about it. When you were seven years, you built a castle out of your dad's porn VHS tapes. While they were out uh, shopping, that was fun when they got back and mom didn't know. Oh, fuck. Death Wish says, I've sent you so many pictures of the hottest hot who ever hotted, but I'll give you this. Lady R is hot. You did well. I know she is. And I, I did finally get your pictures. And yeah, she's a cutie, man. Go for it. I don't know what you like. I don't know what your status is with her. Goody. Oh, you're getting baked. Not good. Oh, why not, man? What's up? Like past drama, future drama. No drama. That might be the worst. Goody's always getting baked. When you were 17, you were doing the old phone sex thing on your landline when your girlfriend at the time and your mother picked up the other phone in the house on the same line. I just yelled at her, hang up! Or with your girlfriend at the time. There you go. Is Son-in-Law the best Thanksgiving movie? It's got to be close. Especially when he tells that little fat kid about his sister's cones. Great. The fucking uh, coyotes again. Can y'all hear that? Isn't that horrifying? They're all yiffing on their way to hell. 
<laughs> it's actually, I'm actually in Detroit. That's a local furry convention. Yeah, they found some, they found some food. Wait till they know I have a hot tub. Look, the filters are okay, but they're not good enough to get that fur and cum out of here. Well, look, see, Goody, I don't find her to be the hottest hot to ever hot, but he can. It's fine. She can hit all of his buttons or whatever, check all of his boxes. Am I allowed to shoot them, the coyotes? I think so. We can shoot coyotes. We can shoot turkeys. Uh, no problem. No license required. They're all pests. We should be allowed to shoot geese because they eat the fucking crops. You came here super depressed, but I'm starting to feel okay. Well, what, do, Mandy, what do I have to do to make you feel better? Have I seen that Rogan clip going around about the coyotes producing more young when the one goes missing at roll call? No. 3T. I don't I don't think that's happening tonight. That already may have accidentally happened. So geese will tear up an entire soybean field. They're such fucking assholes. They'll just eat the whole crop. Man, you don't be gay. The chat loves you. What's up, complete random, aka Drex? You got to draw something. Have you drawn uh, lawn lumber? Why does my IMDb page show me at five foot four? Because Attorney Tom is a motherfucker. That's why. What beer is that? Uh, again, it's um, I showed it earlier. It's this uh, Founders Backwoods Bastard. It's an eleven percent beer finished in uh, bourbon barrels. It's also it's empty. Oh, okay. You did Law and Lumber. Have you done Ian Runkle? Is he clad all in leather that he made himself out of his elven talents? I'd love for you to have Tom on at some point. I've heard much about him, but I've never seen him on stream. Or is that because the camera's too high to capture him? I did a full interview with Attorney Tom a while back. It's on my YouTube channel on the interview playlist. Uh, but I got to have him on. He gave me a really nice bottle of whiskey when I was down in Houston. And I need to, uh, I need to have it. Nick Wet looks like Norton. What, like Ed Norton? Let me get the giant swastika right here. Could you believe that Nina, Anna, and Kalea had never heard the term kike before? Like, not to be crude or crass to the Jewish people, but... And then Anna's like, no, I watched American History X. I'm like, how the fuck did you not hear this i know you heard it because edward norton calls the guy his mom is dating he calls him that because he's super jewish tried angel's envy but i think it was the wrong one it was aged in port barrels really sweet oh no no you need caribbean rum casks it's angel's envy finished rye Talking anab taking anabolic for the shoulders look like you were gaining man getting man boobs. No, I'm not. I don't take shit. I probably actually lost some man boob action. Did I cry when I got my tattoo? No. 
No, this one tickled. This one tickled. This one tickled until it hurt about halfway down. And the bottom one actually felt like a fucking knife. That was horrid. But I didn't... Uh, I did not, uh, no, I did not cry. It was just like, fuck. Stomach's hurt. My tattoo says hentai. It's not in Japanese. Tattoos hurt the longer you're being worked on. They also hurt on the stomach, just generally, especially the closer they get to the median line. Xander's Rand says, uh, someone I know found a book called The American Thesaurus of Slang. You need to get that book. He has all the slangs. I'm actually thinking um, of getting something done over most or all of this. But I just don't know what yet. Back when I got it, China wasn't such a fucking lame It's always been communist. Yeah, but dude, I was like way into martial arts, specifically Chinese martial arts at the time. I liked it. And now like they got really fucking crazy. So you regret the regret tattoo? I mean, I don't regret it, but I would cha I'd change it now. I, know, I tried to pick something I'd be cool with forever. And then, like, I don't mind. I don't think about it most days, but I would just change something. Have to play, have to mute me for a few minutes to play music to draw. Oh, don't have to apologize. What do you think is going to happen with the Arizona election? Democrats are going to win. Because they have to. And because that's how elections go, based. Why are you crying? You think Archie get a tattoo? You should tattoo a penis that's bigger than his penis above his penis. T3, look, if, if I never got anything over this, I wouldn't mind. But it's it's more it's weirder because I never anticipated being a public person and ever having my shirt off. Uh so now I would change it just because of that. But I don't know what I'd change it to. I'd have to really think about it. Would I get more besides the cover up? Yeah. That would take up his whole stomach. Mm hmm. Look, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. Yeah, three T. I forget I have them too. If some Arizona counties refuse to certify, could that do anything? It can make a mess. Get Drex's soft face over it. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. You thought mead sounds amazing? Oh, mead is good. The cool thing about meat is it can be flavored into anything, whatever you want it to be. Big pic of Lady Art to show your simpness. No, the pictures of people are weird. I don't, I don't like that. They can look really like, have you seen those ones where someone like, oh, I got my brother's picture on there and it looks like their brother has Down syndrome or whatever. Not good. What if he does? Well, then it's okay. You think Jeb Bush will take a chance to run against Trump? God, I hope not. If you get the mouth tattooed over your navel, you can make it look like he's talking. Uh, what do we got here? Heard that Wizards of the Coast might be ending the OGL on D&D &D when one D&D &D comes out. Oh, the open gaming license? That'd be interesting. 
I wonder what would happen. I guess they wouldn't be able to end it on. I don't know if they could end it on the older editions, fifth and before, because people have relied on that license existing. They might have some weird promissory estoppel claim. Are pictograms on you aren't according to modern society, aren't you a protected class? God, I fucking hope so. If pictograms will do it, then I can stop sucking dick. Thoughts on Jack Daniels at SCOTUS over copyright? I've only seen the uh I've only seen the fucking headline and I'm gonna look way more into it. I might even look into it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna take a peek at the Johnny Depp the, the amicus brief filed on behalf of Amber Heard tomorrow. Um and the retarded tweets of Michelle Dobert, uh, who is a professor at Stanford or whatever. God, it's a mess. All right, here's what we're going to do. I have to pee. So give me a second here. I'm going to I'm gonna actually mute my microphone this time. We're going to do that. Hi. <laughs> See, what the hell was that? Oh, shit. Uh, you saw a documentary on Netflix and crazy LDS doomsday mom trials sometime in 2023. Don't have time for it anymore, but I'm curious, did the drawings of your studio get anywhere or are they still not getting back to you? I, I need to find someone completely new. I have to find some, I've, I've got, and some really fantastic people have emailed me offering to do it. Um, but, uh, I have not, um, I haven't chosen one yet. Wait, what was it? No, Nick, but encouragement is good. Thank you for being a snowflake. And I hope it, hope it goes towards your fuel tank to get in shape and not eat shit. Turn on bubbles and play with your asshole. Oh my. Gooch, you need fat shaming? Have you tried throwing up? You should look up Nova Tegra in Denmark. Very professional. The fuck is Nova Tegra? Okay, let's see if I can move this over here. Can we do that? An architect company. Oh, in Denmark? Not kidding, you actually look in shape. Good job. I'm not in shape. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not actually fat. I actually, I should not lose any more weight. Legitimately shouldn't lose any more weight. But um, I need to, uh, I need to change. I need to shift a little bit of weight. Okay. Nick, don't show your feet. I just got pedicures or a pedicure. They're all nice and soft right now, like a gay.
the uh, the pedicurist was fucking brutal on one of my toes. It was bleeding all over the place. I was like, God damn, woman. It's not good. Not fungus. I just had a nail uh, that ran along, like, you know, like a hangnail type thing that ran along the side. And she's like yanking on it. Watch for infection. Cuts from pedicures are the worst. You know, a really good thing about being in a uh, chlorine tub is it actually fights that shit pretty, pretty well. But I've had a, I've only had like four pedicures in my life and the other three did not have that result. That was a little bit much. And then this bitch picks up my foot and she goes, wham, 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 and she starts hitting the, the sole of my foot with her fist. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You weirdo. It actually felt really good. I'm not gonna lie. I was just I was just taken aback. She made you bleed. Yes, chlorine should help, but put some fucking neosporin on that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she like put her hands together like a Chinese goddess and started going quah, 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 up my shin. Then she goes da, 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 down my calf. And then I ate egg rolls. It was amazing. Yeah, up my shin. I've never gotten the happy ending massage. I don't know. I don't know how you even ask for one. When your mom got a petty, the lady used the razor on her foot and shaved off a literal chunk of my mom's skin. She bled everywhere. Fuck that. Are happy ending massages legal? I don't think so. You don't, they just do it if you don't stop them? Why am I in the wrong massage parlor? It's because of those arms. <laughs> oh, damn it. Actually, there. I think there's only like one masseuse I've ever had that would have made a, for a good happy ending. Minnesota cracked down, especially after the Super Bowl. Dude, why, why is Minnesota like this? Like, of all the things to crack down on, to me, massage parlor hand jobs, low on the list. Weed, really low on the list. Crotch cam. Oh, yeah, I guess I am kind of sitting like this. <laughs> all right, here, I'll, I'll, get more, uh, I'll get more dignified. There we go. I just have to keep parts of my body out of the water a little bit to keep the temperature down. That wasn't your intention. <laughs> Man spread more. No, I'm just kidding. Go roll in the snow. There's not much left, actually. Loss of heat through the feet and groin. No, I mostly meant keeping my knees out of the water. Big Tans barbecue and foot massage. Why am I not there? Do I sleep with my feet out of the blankets too? No, so we have this, uh, I got this blanket from Instagram. I bought so much shit from Instagram ads, but I got this weighted blanket from Instagram, but it's, it's a knit weighted blanket. So it's actually got, it's very breathable. It's not, it doesn't keep you warm at all. So I have a sheet and then uh, oh, this weighted blanket on top. So it feels like there's a bunch of stuff on you, but there isn't. You make weighted blankets? Well, damn. A knit weighted blanket fucking sold. I need this for the summer. I wish I remember what it was called. I got it from an Instagram ad. They're, he they're like, it's a king size weighted blanket. I think it's 25 pounds. And, uh... It's not like the regular ones where it's like stitched pockets of sand or whatever. Yeah. Sounds like a bunch of crap. I mean, it's just a heavy blanket. It doesn't do anything. You're always fucking cold. 
I'm I'm not usually cold. Instagram knows what to sell me to get me to spend money. Yeah. How is it heavy then? It has something like through the fibers and like through the strands. The knitted fibers are like, they're like this big around. Like they're fucking huge. Nice arms, Death Wish. Go get it. Okay, a black dumb cop pulled over an Asian chick for a traffic violation. He asked her for a happy ending. How stupid can you be? That sounds great. Watch the new Christmas story. The one with, like, Ralphie all grown up. That one. You need to get a proper screen on the wall for the stream. Yeah, I need to get... Um, we're going to get an outdoor TV... Put right there. I guess I could show you. I don't know. My house has been fully fucking doxxed. Did I get that bottle today? I did, but I... I believe so. I didn't finish opening the box i didn't i opened the box but i didn't take anything out of the peanuts because i got distracted but here i'll show you where the i'll show you where the tv should go oh this one here we go oh that's gonna be a mess fuck It's going to go right there. There's a window. It won't zoom because this gay light is. Oh, here we go. There we go. So there's my grill, which will have to move. And there's two windows. And there's that stupid thing behind between them. Um, I'll take that down. And I'm going to I can put like a 75 inch outdoor TV there. And then a little uh, sound bar, like an outdoor sound bar below it. Samsung sells an outdoor sound bar. So that's next on the agenda for the outside stuff whenever I get around to it. But installing outdoor TVs is a pain in the ass. Do a projector. You have to have, you know, outdoor projectors are a pain. Installing outdoor TVs doesn't take five minutes. You got to get, you got to get a fucking, uh, well, to do it nicely, you have to have a GFCI, uh, a GFCI plug installed right behind the TV that'll be protected from the elements. Only a few months from the outdoor projectors. Get the full show. G and G is behind you. You're set. Just haven't realized it yet. Uh, it's not. No, I just don't. I don't like. Uh, I don't need an outdoor projector. I want to have to find a place to put it. So I have to like mount it. It'd be off center. What a mess. Turns out rain and TV need special installations. Yeah. Yeah, you have someone do it. You get a special TV. Also, they have to be really fucking bright for daylight. An outdoor TV in your last house didn't use it as much as you thought that you would. Um, I'd only use it while I was in the hot tub.
Would you have to bring it in during winter? No, no, they, they, they'll they operate in really cold temperatures if you get an outdoor TV specifically. If you get a regular TV, they won't operate outdoors below like negative two or something. You don't need an outdoor TV for cold weather. Mm. Yeah. TV still works in the cold. That spot will get snow. <laughs> Nick telling me how to install TVs and pretending it doesn't take five minutes. It doesn't take five minutes. It takes five minutes if you have someone else do it. Then you just close your eyes and leave. Oh. Shit, it must be getting late because I'm getting really fucking tired. Do I have to stay a member for that 10K gift? Um, you have to be a 10K member, or you have to be a member of the 10K when it happens. That's who wins. Two to three weeks without drama with the business? Wait, have you missed the last week and a half? Am I able to see the first three local subs? No. It doesn't tell me it doesn't tell me any of that stuff. That's not real drama. That's true. It's not drama between different YouTubers. The Nick Nudes drama, yeah. Very, very I mean I had to confess earlier to the chat that I'm not actually the trad catholic uh person i pretended to be that i've 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 said the entire time how i'm super trad and super catholic therefore uh yeah disappointed with josh's reaction no he reacted the way he had to i don't mind i don't give a shit do you know if Legal Mindset responded to Farron? No. All drama is gay and so lame. I'm with you. 100%. Oh, boy. We're getting to that time. What the hell time is, how long have I been in here? Oh, an hour and 23 minutes, that's why. Okay. I was like, God, I'm feeling really, I'm feeling drained as shit. I probably need to get out of this uh, hot tub. Catch you later, Redevoted. Okay, guys, here's what uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to end the stream. Lay back, relax, close your eyes, all will be well, sure. Uh, uh, here we go. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to get out of the tub. It's going to take me just a minute. Calm down. I got to get out of the tub and get dry. And then I'm going to go down to my office because you can't set up a live chat from a phone yet on locals. And when I end this stream, it's going to end the chat that exists. So I will. Uh, 
go down. I'm going to start a new chat once I get down to my office. I'll do that. And then the chat will go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm, I'm out. As you can tell, I'm starting to, like, I'm actually fading here in the tub. So I should get out because I got to put chemicals in the tub and shit. So I will, um, thanks for hanging out with me. We'll get a new chat up. I hope you guys have a wonderful, terrific Thanksgiving. If you don't have any plans and you're kind of bored tomorrow, pop in the chat, say hello, hang out with some people who will be here. I'll try and be in when I can. I don't know if I'm going to stream any cooking or not because it's going to be really fucking chaotic in my house. But uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys then. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. See you. And uh, there will be a stream tomorrow night. There would have been a stream tonight, but I had, I had a fucking stressful day and uh, I, I could not, I could not have sat down and done a stream, but tomorrow we've got some big legal topics coming and stuff like that. So we'll see you then. Have a good night, guys. Peace. Peace.